you guys were like, where's your adoptive family video? It's here. We're going. Erin's not with us, but she's going to be there whenever we get back to our house. And she's going to help us wrap the gifts. Every year, we adopt some families from, it's like adopt a family. What is it? The Social Security offices. In the Department of Social Services. Social not so Social Security. Hold on, scratch that. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to address this. Social Security <laughs> is when you retire. <laughs> close. I was close. Department of Social Services in Los Angeles us, puts it on every year. Hit it, okay, a lot of the mom stuff, like the nicer mom stuff, I have in my house already. But Ty, hit us with the ages and what we got this year. We always do two families every year. So each family has one kid, and I think both kids oh. are boys. One of the girls is pregnant, so she's 31. Well, then we'll get her some baby stuff, too, for when she has her baby. Yep, she's pregnant, and then she has a four-year-old boy. Four-year-old boy, she's 31, and then newborn stuff. Yes. Okay. And then she's 25. She's 25. And she has a two-month-old boy. So oh, a boys. little baby. Yeah, baby, baby. So we'll get some two for, like, newborns, and then young moms, and then the four-year-old little boy. No, yeah, that's right. So two newborns, two young moms, four-year-old little boy, right? We got it. Let's do it. Let's roll. So we got one of the moms. They told us their sizes, so one of them asked for a sweater. So I got this cute one. It's, like, pretty neutral. Then I also got these bags here. I got one. It's, like, a crossbody bag. It's, like, a good neutral medium size bag. And I got one in tan. And then I bought this one in plaid for myself a while back. And I freaking love it. So I got one of the moms that. Next up, we got the moms. These robes are so soft and cozy. So I was like, oh my God, obsessed with that. It feels so warm. It's just like a nice self-care gift. Okay, so we're shopping for the little boy shopping first. Shopping for the four-year-old. The four-year-old. He's a 4T, 5T, so we'll probably just get him 5T for jeans and shirt, and he's size 9 for his shoes. The boring stuff first. Yeah, let's get that The stuff way. no kid wants, but they're gonna get anyways. <laughs> okay, here is some 5T stuff. Let's see what we're gonna get on. Maybe some outfits for school. Oh, these little thermal shirts are always nice. Okay, guys, we got a ton of clothes in the cart, so we're doing good, but now we get to pick out some baby clothes. Clothes? And why are baby clothes the cutest things on earth? They're just so tiny and cute. So he's two months and for the sizing. I think I am in love with this outfit. It is so cute. Oh my god, look at the little legs. I also love this little crocodile outfit. Are you kidding me with the little feet? Okay, we have the size here. Hyper size one, so whatever you would think that that would equate to. Okay, we need to get these two because I'm obsessed. Okay. Oh my god, they have little plaid shirts. So, are you kidding me? It's so cute. Oh, definitely. I love these. Oh, the bears. Zero to six. I think we got to get the... These are nice for moms to have these little onesies. I'm gonna do this so it matches the beanie. Laura had to take a phone call. She left me and I'm over here in the baby diaper aisle. Swaddlers, all I know is size one. So I'm gonna look for a size one like, is that active baby? How am I supposed to know, is the baby active? Well, I'm just gonna get pampers, swaddlers. There's so many options for baby diapers like, I'm overwhelmed. All right, so one of the moms requested a little play pad, play pin, is that what you call these? So, it's for the little two month old boy. Let me get that. I'm back, I'm taking back over. Tyler did great, by the way, getting baby soap. We're also gonna get some newborn diapers for the mom that is gonna have a baby soon. And then we just need to get some of like this stuff. That's cute. The basket, because you get everything. Finally made it into my favorite section, the toy section. So far, we just got, oh, what do we got here? A mystery egg. Wait, that could be cute. How old is this kid now? <laughs> they like little cars, so I think like a little four-year-old boy, because it says three and a, I'm screaming right now at how cute these are. And they also got the baby, the little rattler. Got some shoes, and then she specifically asked for a Matt, she actually asked for this one, I believe. She sent a picture of, so we got, found it. And then we got the car seat. Because she said she needed one for the two month old, correct? Yeah, now we're just looking for toys, a little mystery chest. I, I like right that. Okay, okay, okay. We found a mini football, because the little four year old loves football. So cute. Mm -hmm. It's so tiny. <laughs> I wanted to get him the one 
there's a little one that'll throw passes to you, but I don't know. That's he's four. four Peyton uh, Manning. I don't know that he's going out for passes yet. I like y'all made a third football decision. We're getting him this instead of the other ones. It comes with a football and a baseball and something to, to, an inflatable to throw it into. Three to eight. That Perfect. works. That works for me. All right, guys, the carts are ready to go for the families. We got pretty much everything we need, including gift cards, because they got the whole wall of gift cards up in here. I also have some stuff at my house that I'm gonna get them. A bunch of makeup. A bunch of makeup and like all kinds of little goodies for the mom. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna hook them up this Christmas. Another successful Adopt-A-Family trip. Ooh, load that car, load that car. Tyler Ooh. took his golf clubs out, good job. Yeah. <laughs> the car is filled to the top and uh, go wrap these gifts. All right guys, we're on our way home to go wrap these presents for Christmas. I already wrapped so Christmas. many Christmas presents today for your little butt. My assistant helped me wrap gifts. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll have to get me an assistant. Aaron's the assistant, babes. Yeah. Not yeah. mine, I mean, I have one. All right, we're on our way home now. See you at the house. See you at home. By the way, Target one isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And one thing I just wanna shout them out and appreciate, they actually have all the lanes open with the cashiers. Oh, at thank God. At no wait, because every register they have employees working so no one has to wait. And I just love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy, seamless process. Thank you for making a very stressful time of year easy for us, Target. All right, we are now separating toys here, here. <laughs> this is a section. Oh my gosh, we have so much going on. We have stuff over here. There's some more stuff over here. We always like to add batteries just in case the toys have batteries and some gift cards as well so that way they can get some things they actually need that we didn't get for them. Um, and then Aaron is here wrapping. I also put together a little special goodie bag for each mom with some self-care items in it, which I think will All right, we have an update on gifts. We're doing pretty good. That's all I've done. Just these? Yeah. Are you on your I'm phone? a working girl, and I'm trying to make these presents look good. <laughs> Clearly, Martha Stewart, the gift. All right, I like the bag action. I feel like that will help speed it up. What are you trying to say? Aaron's trying to put everything in one bag now. I'm about to bag everything. Aaron! This is all going in one bag. Let's do these wraps. I am. Lord have mercy. Today drained me. Today. That, that box is about to drain me. I like wrapping gifts, but you know, this year I got a little lazy with it. I want to be honest. Over here. This? I can't wrap this. Yes, you can. It's an odd shape. You'll figure it That's out. That's easy. You need to learn how to wrap. You have to wrap for birthdays, anniversaries, Valentine's. You gotta know how to wrap. I've never wrapped. This is like maybe my second or third year. Well, I'm glad that you're wrapping this year. I'm gonna speed it up a little, Santa's help. <laughs> and tell us we we could help. <laughs> we did the shopping. We did all the shopping, and, it was a and lot. every year she's supposed to do the shopping, so we did. Also, all, and Aaron, that was the deal. Aaron missed out on hanging the Christmas lights with me. Every single year, Aaron has to help Ty hang the Christmas lights, and did she this year? She helped with half. Okay, but the easier part though. Yeah. She helped with the easy stuff. She didn't help me with the hard stuff. Nope. She just wanted to get on the roof. We're trying to hear. Yeah, that's literally all she wanted to do. You guys should not be getting on the roof. You don't need them up that high. Oh, you sure do appreciate looking at it though, don't you? They are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Our tree, I, I, this is not doing it for me this year. This tree. It needs some pizzazz. I kind of want to do a tinsel tree. Daniel Prada had put one together it on needs some TikTok. Color. Yeah, it's too. I don't know about colorful stuff, but it needs I'm thinking the, the colorful Christmas lights. Let's wrap that in this tree. You're done. I don't know. All right, guys, it is Saturday. We got all the gifts wrapped. Aaron did all of this. She did such a great job. The gifts look so pretty. And we're gonna go deliver these tomorrow. So we are ready to go. We have post-it notes, so we make sure we keep the two families completely split. But we are all ready to go. I am still in my house robe by YouTube. I mean, here we are on YouTube. Um, I've just been cleaning my house all Saturday morning and watching Housewives because I have a lot of holiday stuff this week. I have a holiday dinner with some of my girlfriends, a holiday outing and dinner with 
one of my friends on Monday. Tomorrow I have a little event and a Lakers game. I'm going to go to a Manny. So I have a booked week. So this is my day off. So I've just been cleaning my house, making sure everything's prepped for our delivery tomorrow and getting my shit together basically. You always need one of those like get your shit together kind of days. And I need to get my housewives in too. I'm watching Housewives of Potomac. Anyways, today it's like actually not freezing. I don't care what anyone says. 60 degrees in LA is the coldest temp on earth. I can't explain it. I don't make the rules. It just is. Is your winter coat in? He said, please leave me alone. Aaron is cleaning upstairs. Our garland's falling. It looks like shit. Some over Christmas decor. <laughs> and that's Aaron cleaning. All right, guys, we are delivering gifts this morning. Santa sleigh. Ooh. We have sticky nose. <laughs> you guys, we just dropped off to our first house. She was so freaking sweet. She was literally crying. It feels so good to be able to do this, but also... <laughs> drop the rest of the gear. Yes. All right. Stop number one. Done. Stop number two. We're on the way to deliver these gifts. Santa! Our reindeer is malfunctioning back there. She, uh, we got gifts flying out everywhere. All right, guys. We're officially at our last house to drop off the rest of the gifts. It's been another eventful year for Adopt a Family. You guys should check it out if you live in the LA area. If you want to give back. I will link the adopt a family down below. It's put on by the social services, not security office, but social services of LA. And I'm sure every state social services program puts it on. And then they will assign you families and they fill out a bunch of information about them. You can get them stuff that they need. And then, yeah. This is the Los Angeles social Oh, yes. This is the Los Angeles. I don't know that every city does this. Hi. Guys, we dropped off all the gifts, and the last person was a Larley subscriber. She was so sweet. She was so sweet, and her little baby. Oh my god, the her baby! Full head of hair. It was a two, well, actually, just turned three months old. Cutest baby I've ever seen. Definitely way more hair than what's on my head. Most hair I've ever seen a baby have, ever. And it was gorgeous. Gorge. So precious. All right, guys, we're gonna get ready for a Lakers game. Me and Manny are going to a Lakers game today. It's Sunday. We just finished dropping off the gifts. I got on the treadmill and I walked a little bit, but I wanted to do two things before I had to start getting ready for the Lakers game. I wanted to get some exercise in, and I really wanted to start the reunion of season six of Housewives of Potomac. So I did both at the same time. I literally just put my laptop up there and I walked for an hour, like did my little not the full 12, 3, 30, because the thing is, and I know this sounds pathetic, but I didn't want to get sweaty and have to wash my hair because I get super sweaty when I do the full 12, 3, 30, and I was on the treadmill for an hour. So the 12, 3, 30 only lasts 30 minutes. So I would have been drenched in sweat. And I was like, I really, I don't have time to like take a full shower and do that whole moment before the game. So I didn't want to get too sweaty. So I like slacked my workout, which is fine because um, I think getting up and moving in general is just a miracle at this point sometimes because I'm just like so not wanting to work out and move my body. I'm going to use a little bit of this professional. Right there. Sometimes I don't want to move my body and it's like I get asked all the time how do you get motivated and really I have no motivation. I just do it and like try to turn my brain off that tells me not to and I try to just get out there and move my body and by like doing that but builds the momentum of motivation but motivation it never comes to me out of the clear blue sky like i have to get going i just have to get myself going like i don't go in there and be like i'm about to do the hardest workout in my life i'm so motivated i just get out there with my equipment and then i do a little something with it, which typically turns into something else where i commit to a reasonable amount of workouts a week that are reasonable and like work for my schedule. That's what works for me because I cannot just jump into like some unrealistic life-changing workout plan and expect myself to execute that and then me flopping and then quitting altogether. I think doing, you know, building it into your lifestyle slowly is really the way to go to so make it a lot. You just make it a lifestyle change rather than, you know, this overnight cold turkey. Like, I'm going to work out so hard every single day of my life. And you quit after a few months because you're so burnt out on the unrealistic schedule you set for yourself. Or maybe that works for some people. You know, everyone is different. Anyways, I'm using the L34. This is the rounded kabuki just to blend out the stick foundation. I love 
this foundation. I use the shade beige. I've told you guys that a hundred times. You're probably like, can we move on to the next foundation, girl? I uh, know. I uh, know. We're going to do a little concealer. I'm just going to apply it with this little mini kabuki brush just to get it in there. This cream concealer is so thick by NARS that it just honestly works better with a brush. You can definitely use a sponge with it, but I have a bit better luck with it with a brush. I'm gonna take my L11 brush and get some of the bronzer. use my cream blush. This is pretty much like my makeup routine every day. I love having a little makeup routine because it just makes the process so much quicker with products that you trust to know are gonna work good. I used to, you know, whatever I did, like only makeup content. Now I do some makeup content. I just upload a drugstore favorites for 2022, like what was my favorite drugstore product. Now I stick to a lot of the same makeup, I'll admit. When I find a good product, I can't help myself. I just love that good product and I wanna keep using it and using it, you know? Like I don't wanna risk having a bad makeup day by trying something. Cause I used to try a lot of my products, like first impressions on camera with you guys, which I need to do one of those videos, I feel like sometime soon. Cause I just haven't done one with like, high-end makeup and i'm just gonna add a little bit of dior brow powder i will tell you back in my dip brow days my brows used to take me a real like just like a dumb amount of time to do like the amount of time i spent on my brows i should have gotten like a college degree <laughs> like if i could take back all that time i'm like my god and now my brows take me half the time doing like the fluffier brow with just like a little bit of brow powder and i feel like they look a, like a slightly less hard i just think i could have went i'm like a little lighter in color if you will or a, le a lighter in shading them but you know you live and learn but i don't necessarily hate them in pictures it's pictures when i don't have false lashes on to really fill out the look that's whenever they're a little more jarring to me my 2016 brow but now i don't feel that way i feel like the fluffy brow is just quicker, okay? But it's been really nice to share my other interests with you guys through vlogging more, which I've committed. Oh, that was one of my, honey, that was one of my New Year's resolutions. I was like, I really wanna like vlog more and do my vlog channel more. I like quit doing it for so many years. I wanna get back into that. And I did it, like I, I did it. I always wish I'm more consistent on everything, but there's like a million platforms now. So it's kind of like impossible, but like I pick back up my vlog channel. We kicked the dust off her. We got her up and going again. She was thriving. She is thriving. I'm vlogging now. Like I'm so proud of myself. It feels so good to like, Say you're gonna do something and then execute. L31, oh, this is our larger angled brush and I will say this is becoming a fan favorite because every time I use it, people talk about how much they love it and we just gotten a lot of good feedback on this specific fluffer here. So you guys be sure and check out the Lolly Los Angeles brush collection, actually the holiday collection, check it out. We are uh, low on the full bundle, so be sure and grab it. If you guys order it, orders are going out fast. I'll say that. So I don't know if you'll get it by Christmas. You should if you ordered it. I'm gonna upload this on Monday. Like if you order on Monday, you live in the US, like I don't think there would be a problem necessarily with getting it by Christmas. Okay, you guys remember whenever I came on the vlog and I was like, blush aesthetics almost sold out. Well, I think I said that. Did I ever tell you guys that? I may not have. It's sold out. Blush aesthetic is gone. I can't believe it. Um, I'm gonna use this one for hourglass since my girly is completely sold out. Thank you guys so much. That also got a lot of good reviews. You guys really seem to be liking that. Is it gone? but I am working on creating a lot of new stuff for, or I have like this massive launch coming for, uh, I just love how this brush hugs your face. It's everything. But I have a massive launch coming for next springish, summerish. When you have a small business, it's like really, really hard to pinpoint your launches like down to a date because you work a little tighter in rather than further out, if that makes sense. Like, these big brands, they work out like two years. Like they can tell you the day stuff's gonna launch. We don't, we're such a small brand. We can't even, we can't do that. Like we cannot create products, like that many products at one time, we can't. I wish I could, I just, yeah. Another one of my New Year's resolutions, I feel like I was really verbal with you guys about was I said that I 
really want to do less this year, spend more time for myself, spend more time with my family, spend more time doing the things I want to do rather than creating content all the time and working on the time on my brands and stuff like that. And while it may not have looked like that from the outside, and I do think I could have still done a better job at it, I said no to more stuff this year than I had in a really long time. I said no to a ton of trips and that goes trips with brands. I even had like a cool lineup trip with Google and I was like, I can't, I can't do that. Like it's too last minute. Like I, I was just really proud of myself for the amount of stuff I most definitely would not have said no to in the past. I said no to you this year. I said no to a lot of trips with friends. And I also went on a lot of trips with friends. Like I was like enough is enough. Like I don't want to do everything that comes my way. I said no to a lot of opportunity because I feel like I'm just trying to learn from my past. I feel like doing too much is also a great recipe for, for burnout. So I'm trying to like, I'm always trying to figure it out, but I did good this year. I could have done better, period. I just put matte, like a matte bronzer all over my eyes. I feel like whenever you take the time to say no to certain things, it leaves time for other things that could be more important. And that's kind of my point, you know, in doing it, so. Alrighty, I am ready as far as hair and makeup, which is the hardest part. So now I'm gonna go put on an outfit. I'm gonna wear something kind of comfy because it's a Lakers game and I just wanna be comfortable. You know, I wanna be comfortable. It's chilly outside. It's a sporting event. I'm gonna be wearing sneakers. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. 